Okay, 2017, you've got a truck pulling a car. So the mass of the truck is 1700. So weight, 1700G. And reaction of the truck, tension of the tow bar, tension of the tow bar. And you've got a car of mass 800. So weight, 800G and reaction of the car, just make sure they've got different reactions on them. The um, resistance to the motion of the truck is 700, the resistance of the motion to the car is 300. The truck has got a forward force of 2000, and draw a diagram showing all the forces, that's just what I've done there now in that one. Okay, um, part two. For part two, I am going to do resolve whole system and using F equals MA. So if I resolve the whole system and using the F equals MA, I have got 2000 pulling it forward, 700 pulling it back, minus T pulling it back, T going forward, 300 coming back equals, now the total mass is these two together, so it's going to be 2500 zero, zero. and if you work that out you get a thousand sorry mass times acceleration equals 2500 a so a is um 10 over 25 or uh, 2 10 over 25 or two fifths or 0 0.4 the way you want to leave that is fine. Now I better do just for the trailer to get all the forces in. So we've all saw them forward for the trailer only, or you could do it for the truck. So T minus 300 equals 800 times A. So T minus 300 equals um, 320. So T, bring your 300 across, 620. You get this. Okay, so the next one, um, oh, next part of the question, when the speed is 8, so when U is 8, the tow bar breaks. Assuming the motion to the car remains the same, find the distance moved by the car from the moment the tow, car, the tow bar breaks and comes to rest. Okay, so for that we've got a different systems completely going on here. So, um, Let's see. So let's draw out so it's the, uh, the distance made by the car. So we're going to draw out a wee new system here. So 800, 800 G, reaction of the car, and this one stayed the same at 300. Now, so if I resolve it forward using F equals MA, nothing's pulling it forward. 300 is pulling it back at 800 A. So I can work out my A there. So minus 3 eighths is my A. And I've been told my U. So U is 8. A is minus 3 eighths. I want to know when it comes to a stop. And I want to know the distance. So I'm just going off the page there. So using V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. V squared, U squared, 2AS. So 64 minus... 6 over 8s, so 6 over 8s is 64, so s is 64 times by 8 divided by 6, I need to calculator, just to check that one, so 64 times 8 divided by 6 gives me a distance of 85 and a third metres.